I was a rather clueless child. Or maybe I had been swamped in too much Disney crap and thought fairies were friendly, cute things. My point is, tonight I will return home and maybe I will be forgiven. Fae morality is complex at best. I have no idea why they treated me the way they did and I most likely never will know. Anyway, my name is Francis, and I'm not sure how old I am. I'm not sure how time passes in the Fey world. I look around 18 or 19, and I regret growing up. My first experience with the Fey was when I was seven. Up until then, I was living a normal life. And then I met a fairy. I remember being woken up at night by a tiny creature flying up to me. It had wings that looked like that of a monarch butterfly and tiny, sharp teeth and a small, bony body. It looked freakish and not at all like the cute fairies I was used to. It flew away into the woods behind my house and I ran after it, wearing my nightgown with no shoes on until I wasn't sure where I was at all. I was getting worried and wanted to get home, but then I saw the light again and saw a dirt path in front of me lined with mushrooms. The little light flew away down the path and I felt compelled to follow it. My feet seemed to move on their own accord. I also felt strangely content and sluggish as I walked down the path. I didn't think. I just walked. Only now do I realize the fairy had most likely hypnotized me. The path seemed to go on forever and ever, but it did eventually end. I think that's when the fairy let me out of my trance. I was in the same forest I had just left, but something was a bit... off. The sky was white and glowing, as if it were all sunlight and no sky. The trees seemed to stretch on forever. And there were lots of those little bony creatures with butterfly wings flying about. After that, I don't remember exactly what happened, but I do remember living with the Fae for decades afterwards, never aging, always staying seven years old. I remember all the days blending into each other and falling asleep in this little nook I had in the roots of a tree. I don't even remember eating anything, but I remember occasionally eating imaginary food. It was strangely filling. All in all, it was quite like I was Peter Pan living in Neverland, although this was more like the book version of Peter Pan than anything else. I also remember occasionally seeing other children, but not much. Some of them were being treated like me. Some others were being treated as servants, whether it be cruelly or kindly. There were even some who were simply lured in for the purpose of being fattened up and eaten. I have no idea why all these children were treated differently, but I never questioned it. Then came the day I went back into civilization. One day, I was wandering through the forest and I came across the same mushroom path that had taken me into the Fey world. I was curious and wandered along it. It seemed to go on for ages, but before long, I was back in a normal forest. I wandered out and back into the real world. The police found me, a confused, parentless girl. I was taken into custody and adopted, and at first I enjoyed having human parents and not being raised by strange fae. But my happiness was short-lived. As I grew up, school got more distressing, and there were bullies who would pick on me. I would always be sent to the principal's office, and when I cried, he would yell at me to stop pretending to cry. When I got into high school, it got worse. Suddenly, you were expected to have an opinion about everything, and there was all this political crap about SJWs and feminazis and right-wingers and ignorant rednecks, and everyone seemed to be turning everything into a game of the three little normal people and the big bad SJW. I didn't even know what the word meant. I felt forced to have an opinion. And work was piling up and I couldn't handle it. My once loving parents had taken to calling me rude and bugging me and always insisting on checking my work even though the teachers did it for me. We would always get into fights and I waited for the day I could move out. 
Things got worse when I went to college. Now the political opinions had just ramped up and people were dealing drugs and getting into debt and I was already deep in student loan debt and I had started... I had started... <sighs> cutting myself. I used to like listening to Katy Perry, but now I felt as if I couldn't do it without laughing at how apparently stupid she was. I was deep in debt, bullied, and stressed about my opinions and my schoolwork and my future job. So now I've decided what I'm going to do. I will return to the Fey world. Maybe the Fey will forgive me for leaving them for this awful world, and even if they don't, being fattened up and eaten is much less stressful than this world. As I type this, I am in the woods near my childhood home. I have found the mushroom pathway, the bridge between our world and my true home. When I finish typing, I will cross over and maybe I'll be seven again. And my life will be how it was before. One of playing forever and never getting any older. The key word being maybe. I hope so. <laughs>